Hi kids! Today we will be learning how we can use multiplication in our problems. So, let's start! Can you calculate how many pencils are there in this picture? Five sets are there and ten pencils are there in each set. So we need to add 10 five times. Remember, we use multiplication for repeated addition problems. So instead of adding 10 five times, we can multiply 10 with five. So we get, so there are 50 pencils in the picture. Isn't it easier? Let's take one more example. Can you calculate how many eggs are there in this picture? Three trays are there and each tray has eight eggs. So we need to add eight three times. Remember, we use multiplication for repeated addition problems. So, instead of adding 8 three times, we can multiply 8 with 3. So, we get 24. So, there are 24 eggs in the picture. Isn't it easier? So, let's take one more example. There are five apples in one basket. Then four baskets will have how many apples? You need to add five four times here. And you now know you can write repeated addition in the form of multiplication sentence. So, five plus five plus five plus 5 can be written as 5 times 4. And we can easily solve it as 5 multiplied by 4 equals 20. So, 20 apples will be there in 4 baskets. Let's move on to another question. One tray holds six cups, then three trays will hold how many cups? You need to add six three times here. And you now know you can write repeated addition in the form of multiplication sentence. So, adding six three times can be written as six times three and 6 multiplied with 3 is 18. So, 18 cups will be there in 3 trays. Let's move on to another question. One cat has 4 whiskers. Then 3 cats will have how many whiskers? We need to add the number of whiskers here. So it's a problem of repeated addition. 4 plus 4 plus 4. And we now know repeated addition problems can be written as multiplication sentence. So we can write it as 4 multiplied with 3. And 4 times 3 equals 12. So, three cats will have 12 whiskers. Now, let's make one more multiplication sentence. One chair has four legs. Then eight chairs will have how many legs? Can you make the multiplication sentence for this problem? Let's see. We need to add the number of legs here. 
So it's a problem of repeated addition. Adding four eight times. So we can write it as four times eight. So our multiplication sentence will be four times eight equals 32. So eight chairs will have 32 legs. Good. So what have we learned? We have learned whenever there is a repeated addition problem, you can solve it using multiplication. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.